This is one of the new electric vehicles, it right? It is, yeah. This is a Rivian R1T. I have to make dinner, and I want to give you guys the full experience, so I brought my Instant Pot, and I'm going to make some spaghetti. We're charging while we're charging. Since there's no engine. Wow. Oh. Look at this, Ray. Look at wow. the store. Someone stole your engine. <laughs> here so we have a fun weekend lined up for you we are actually borrowing this Rivian R1T from a longtime viewer over here John this is his brand new Rivian R1T that he's letting us borrow for the night we're gonna go camping I'm actually gonna be sleeping inside the back of this truck and we're gonna take you guys along for the ride with us and show you everything that this cool R1T has to offer let's go as one of the first people in North Carolina to take delivery of an R1T. Do whatever you want to do with it. It's totally fine. <laughs> Famous you got that last on camera, words. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> John was kind enough to offer his truck to us for the weekend. Not only does he give us his truck, but he babysits our kids. <laughs> Button is right okay. here. It doesn't come all the way down. It just unlocks it, so you got to pull it down. Kid Liam, you're going in here. You can both fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to ask him twice. All right. John has already put 1,500 miles on the truck in the first few weeks of ownership, telling us the truck has been nothing short of spectacular, though a few small issues have popped up. Tonneau cover button is right here next to the tailgate okay. button. That's when it works. <laughs> Have you had any issues with that? So, uh, on delivery, I had them deliver it here because it's easier for the flatbed to come yeah. on. And uh, so the, the delivery person is showing me all around and she's like, okay, we'll push this button. And it stopped right, right there. You can okay. see where it catches. Yeah. You know, if I press on it and jost a little bit, it's on my list of things that they're supposed, yeah. to, supposed to work on, but. Rivian is currently redesigning the tonneau cover after a number of early R1T owners reported failed motor and imbalanced torque in the cover. And then of course, the gear tunnel button on this side. Hand up. <laughs> I know where they're gonna be hanging out. <laughs> All right. And then the front trunk you can open with the remote or there's a button just left the center. Okay. And it's automatic, so it'll open and close on its own. Instant pot, because you know, why not? Car seat time, right? How does it work with a car seat? Tether spot is right here. I like to sit in it. This is ridiculous, but this is the best way to get it tight. Moment of truth. We fit everything in a Model 3. Can we fit it in a Rivian R1T? Oh, other side. <laughs> All right, so you know what? It's not necessarily a cyber summer, but it's gonna be a Rivian summer for sure. All right, let's do this. And just like your Tesla, or similar to your Tesla, okay. you can just grab these and point them where you want them. And then in the rear, they have a controller as well, okay. or you can control it. What is different is the clarity that Rivian provides on exactly what your charge limits mean. A daily setting option at 70% is labeled best for battery health, while an extended 85% charge says you'll see moderate battery wear, and a trip 100% charge that tells you that with frequent use it ages your battery. I'm actually really enjoying the air right now from the seats. It's a feature that you don't use all the time, but we had it in our old Model X and it's really, really nice right now. It's so hot outside and it actually feels really good. With temperatures at 100 degrees, we drove to a nearby river for some tubing to cool off. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that Rivian got its name from its CEO, RJ Scaringe's favorite hobby, kayaking in the Indian River in Florida? Riv for river and Ian for Indian. I guess we should get the tubes out and blow those up. We turn on the 120 volt outlet from the center screen and chose to use our electric pump over the built-in compressor to inflate the tubes. Now we're changing into our suits. I'm gonna go ahead and get changed, so. Big thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video. 
Their new fitness earbuds help you go even bigger with the power of premium sound and smart tech. Whether I'm jogging, in the gym, or just shooting hoops, the Raycon Fitness Earbud are my go-to option. They deliver max comfort, stability, and are seriously the most secure fit on the market. We've all been there when you're working out and you have to constantly adjust your earbuds. Well, Raycon developed these fitness earbuds to stay in your ear even during the toughest workouts. And because of the customizable gel tip and the stabilizers that are contoured to the human ear anatomy, you get a comfortable fit every time and can focus on your workouts and not the earbuds. With a 54-hour battery life, it doubles nearly every other brand on the market and they have over 35,000 five-star reviews. It's about half the price of other premium audio brands and Raycon's fitness earbuds were also voted Esquire Magazine's best earbuds of 2021. Right now, my viewers can get them for $20 off and if you click on the link in the description box you'll unlock an additional 15% off. Go to buyraycon.com slash kimjava and get access to this limited time offer. All right let's get back to it. She keeps handing me rocks and she wants me to throw them and I'm kind of scared I'm gonna throw this instead. Just kidding John I would never do that. Never. Crawfish. I've actually never seen one in real life. The all-moving red rock I found. So the next destination we're going to is called Mingo Falls, right here. Much like the Tesla UI, the R1T tells you exactly what your estimated range will be on arrival at your destination, taking into account distance, elevation change, and local weather. This is probably the best use for the gear tunnel right here. So anyone who's ever used one of these knows that when you sit down, it's so hard to get back up again. Well, the gear tunnel's like the perfect height. So much easier. Right there is like why I want one of these trucks now. This is leg day. I would say the best way to find help is to get to the top of the waterfall. Should I A, climb it, or B, try to hike around to the top of hike it. Around. Choose your own adventure. Termites or a grub. Make a decision, be quick, I'm hungry. So even the gear guard has a camera. You can see this guy checking out the truck right here. So this is basically like sentry cam for those of you that are used to Tesla, but I wish I could hear their conversation though. Oh my God. We're just driving along and there is, I think an elk, is that an elk? What is that? It's like the body of a horse, the face of a cow. Then elk. Next, we climbed up the Blue Ridge Parkway to our tiny cabin destination, where we planned on camping and charging from the provided EV connection. So one of the big reasons why we chose to stay here is because they have these. So this is the J1772, it's the Clipper Creek. Um, the owner said only one other person has ever really used these, so we're gonna check it out. Our cabin's right there. It's super easy, but we can charge up. So, I haven't actually done this before, but there we go. No adapter needed. Love it, so easy. All right, so we are getting all set up for the night, and one of the cool things that happened is that the front trunk also doubles as a cooler. So we're putting all the things that we need on ice to stay cold up here in the front trunk. There's a plug that will naturally just drain the ice as it melts. Um, it's great, it's so perfect for camping. So welcome to our little tiny house cabin. Come on in. The boys are upstairs. Look here, it shrinks. There's a queen size bed all the way up there. We have our master suite, bathroom. Show them up here. Kitchen and living room. And we even have a little deck. And then behind the cabin is our J1772 that we can charge the truck from while we sleep. I plan on sleeping in the truck. The family, with the two year old, you really don't want to like be camping in a truck. So she's going to stay in here. And we have all the nice little things like coffee makers and a shower and a toilet. You want to go explore? She wants to go. Come up 
upstairs. Let's go upstairs. It's right. This is super cute. Are Look, you guys gonna sleep it, up it here? Shrink. No, we're in the. This sleep is actually in perfect for Lincoln. She can sleep down right we, here. We we never sleep in the Rivian. Rivian. I'm gonna sleep in the Rivian with my mom. Do you wanna sleep up here, Lakey? Endless supplies coming out of this truck. We have some cooking to do. So I'm using impossible meat because I didn't know how long I could keep real meat cold. And since we're, you know, being environmentally friendly this weekend. So whipped up a little appetizer tray. Can I eat it? You can come sit here and eat this. Thank you can you. sit inside the tunnel and eat it. <laughs> what? Mind blown. <laughs> so this is what I ordered from Amazon. You can see this is the truck tent. We did not go with the Rivian tent. It's really expensive. I don't even know if it's still available, but our friend Ben Solens had this one, recommended it. We'll also put a link to Amazon in the description. This is just an air mattress for a truck. It came with this, but we're gonna go ahead and pump it up with the same thing we pumped up our floats with earlier since it's easy and it's right here. So we have this going. We have both outlets being worked. The car's being charged. It's kind of crazy. why I don't camp. I'm doing this for you guys, I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> I probably should have done this piece first, but you know, we're learning. So it doesn't fit perfectly, but it's close enough. You want perfect, buy the Rivian one and spend double or triple. Rivian! <laughs> Now that we have this set up, we should probably check on our food, which is probably completely overcooked at this point. Um, but that works. It will work. I just need a ladder. That's the one thing. The one thing I'm missing is a ladder. I'm gonna open the nice. window. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Actually, it looks pretty good. Hello. 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 She set up everything. Okay, so it's getting dark. So Liam wants to show you his favorite feature of the Rivian right here. There's a little flashlight right in the door. And it's really bright. It actually has a thousand lumens of brightness. And it's pretty cool because the, the car or the truck, I keep saying car, the truck itself has 7,776 cells in its battery pack. But this right here, mm -hmm. this little battery makes it one more than that. So we have 7,777. Oh, so it's pretty cool. We have our oh. built-in flashlight for camping. We also have this right here in the speaker. It has a light in it as well. Um, so we're gonna put the baby to bed. We're gonna eat and do some marshmallows. Can I play a song? I think there's so many people out here. I don't wanna. Aww. So we just put this ice in here about an hour ago and it's already starting to melt it's really hot here and we left the front trunk open but look at this you can see where it's dripping right there no and this is what it's built for pretty cool right i feel like it's better than tesla okay. a little better oh, don't tell everybody that you might want to keep those thoughts to yourself people get very defensive he said he thinks he likes Rivian more than Tesla. Maybe, maybe. Because people get really defensive and have brand loyalty. So a lot of us are huge Tesla fans, but honestly, it's okay to like it all. This is what happens when my dad too much sugar. Here, over here. You need it over in the side. I don't know why that is. Yeah. Roll it green. So, there's a projector right here. It's going down on the ground and making the Rivian logo. 
know how both boys want to sleep in the truck tent. And you. And me. So this will be interesting. And not sure how much sleep we're going to get. But everybody wants to be in here. So I guess we'll see. We'll see you guys in the morning. All right. So I'm in the tent right now with Liam. And we keep hearing this honking noise. I think it's probably a frog, but we saw that elk earlier and I'm a little nervous that there could be an elk out there or even worse, a bear. I want to check the scent sheet cameras out for a bit. You want to see if like the camera, oh, do you hear it? Right there. Wait, listen. I feel like it's coming closer. I can like. Ah! Oh, so one of the things I like about a truck, a truck style truck bed camping, let's call it, is that you're up off the ground and it feels like you're more protected than just a tent on the ground. So if something was to come, like I don't think it would be able to get inside of our truck. Should we go to bed? Yeah. All right. Say good night. Good night. So it's like three in the morning and I still haven't been able to fall asleep because there's this super loud honking, which I thought was frogs, but now I'm thinking maybe it's the ducks. It sounds like a duck is giving birth outside of our tent. Keeps waking both Liam and I up. My throat is starting to hurt. I feel like I want to abandon this and just go inside. The bed's super comfortable, sleeping in the truck is great, but the sound is so bad. I wish I had brought earplugs. It's so loud. Um, it's like an alarm clock goes off right when you're about to fall asleep. Okay, we're abandoning ship. It's way too loud out here. This pond behind me over here has all kinds of creature life that is keeping us up. All right, so we are getting all packed up. Now, I did not make it the entire night in the tent. It was really great, actually. It was comfortable, it kept me dry, and it would be a great experience that I definitely, surprisingly, would like to try again. I am not a camper, but this was pretty fun. I, I think that we will do it again if we get our hands on another R1T. So we're driving along the Blue Ridge Parkway right now. It's absolutely beautiful. And what I've noticed about this truck is that it's insanely quiet. It even, feels quieter than the Teslas that I've driven. Now I haven't had too much time with the new refresh Teslas, but I, I'm really enjoying this drive. I like that I'm sitting up so high. I feel like we have a great view of everything. The kids are enjoying all the extra space. It was super easy to pack up this morning, just throw everything in the truck bed. I feel like this is such a great adventure vehicle. Rough, but bald overlook. But if it was bald, why would it be rough? So we just pulled over on the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're doing Balsam Knob Trail right here. It's one of the more popular hikes, um, but, oh my goodness. We definitely need to get our, our wiggles out right now. And everywhere we went, the R1T stole the show. This is on the new electric vehicle, right? It is, yeah. This is a Rivian R1T. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I've heard about them, I didn't. Wasn't sure if they were actually out yet and people they were driving are. them. Or... Okay, look at this, Ray. Look, watch this. Come here. Look at the storage you have. Oh, yeah. It goes all the way to the other side. Wow. Since there's no engine. Wow. Oh. Look at this, Ray. Look wow. at the storage. Someone stole your engine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cooler. It is. Yeah. So we put ice in there and then there's yeah. a little drain Holy right here. Shit. The so kids are mine and you just pull over and give them a drink. We are off. So I see why they call it bald. You are above the tree line. You have these amazing 360 views. It's absolutely gorgeous up here. All right, so we just finished the hike. We're gonna go drive for about 30 minutes and return Rivian. We might have to get one of our own. This has been a pretty fun weekend. 
All right, guys, that is all we got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed, and as always, a lot of time and effort goes into writing and editing these videos, so we would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. Also, be sure to check out our website, itskimjava.com, for our high-quality Tesla-inspired merch. There's the popular Circle Square Cybertruck tees, and we've recently added a whole new line of Cyber Summer and Destination Charging shirts for men, women, and kids, so be sure to check them out, and we will catch you guys next time.